Right, so with that being done, let's go and see what we can do. Uh, see if we can get to Tucson now. So, I think I'm going to need some money with me. So, we're going to pop into the ATM. Uh, we're going to use the ATM card and we're going to take out some money. So, this next bit is a little bit of a rigmarole. There's quite a lot that we have to do. But you know what? I'm going to take it all out because uh, I'm going to need it, trust me. There we are. Your account has been debited 778k. Please take your cash. Right, okay, good. So. With that being done, do I have enough health and all the rest of it? Let's see if we can get to uh, Tucson now. So, Tucson, according to the map, is just down here. So, we'll see if there's any barriers stopping us. Yes, there is, there's a roadblock. The road to Tucson is closed, you can't just squeeze through roadblocks either. Right, I know it's famous for roadblocks. Right, so we can't go that way, that's fair enough. So, we'll pop into the copper station. Do I have enough goods? Yeah, we're, we're good, we're good. We're good for goods. So I'll pop into the cops and we'll speak to this dude. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Yes. Okay, chalk will follow me. Right. So I should mention that I did spend some time off camera just um, leveling up, so I'm a little bit stronger than I would be normally. However, that's not really saying much because this game's really brutal. <laughs> So, show me what you've got, see if you can get past five of my best men. So, this is why yeah, UK police get such a bad rap, guys. Uh, police brutality against a little kid. Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. Right, well, let's do it. The cop attacked. Right, well, I'm going to use PSI to get rid of them very quickly because you don't want these guys attacking you. They are very strong. Um, and you want as much advantage as possible. 86 experience points. Right, you're tough. You should join the police force. Alright, guy number two. So yeah, five guys. It's really ridiculous. The cop attacked. We're just going to use uh, PSI Gaming just to get rid of them. There we go. You won. So yeah, it's a bit of a rigmarole with the next part of the game because we have to rescue Bird, a girl that we've never met. And um, it's driving me nuts on how to do it because you have to know to get a phone from a mouse. I know how that sounds, but trust me, you'll understand when we get to it what I mean. Uh, you have to do things in like sequence as well, which is uh, not very good. There we are. So we've got rid of three cops now, so we're doing all right. So we've got 86 experience points. Right, let's do this again sometime. Yeah, preferably over dinner. Next time I'll make take you out with my nuclear suplex attack. Okay, very strange bloke. Come on, I'm going to take you apart right here, right now, baby. Oh my god, this guy's on a mission. Cop attacked. Right, I need to just get a hamburger here because they can take your de uh, energy down quite a lot. Did I? What did I do? Oh, I tapped. Alright, take this guy down. Should do it. Right, one more cop to go. And then we should be free to go to Tucson, all being well. We're all up to level 12, so we're doing alright. You know, all our stats are going up. My IQ's actually gone up, which is great. And my HP's gone up too. I've got the power of shield A, eh? so I really should be using some of the spells that I've got, but again, spells cost money. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm going to call for my boss. Right, so he goes. And then we have to face this guy. There is no way I can beat you in a straight competition, so I'll get rid of my super ultra mumbo tango foxtrot martial arts. All right, let's do it, pal. So I've got to fight this dude. I'm going to use a hamburger. So yeah, this fight can either be really good or really bad. Sometimes he just won't do much. Other times he'll just beat you into the ground. Oh god, he's dodged my attack. Oh come on, Lucas. Gotta beat this guy. Right. Oh come on. It does things like that, which really annoys me. Just let me 
do it. I should do it. Oh, come on. Making me hang on now. There we go. We got him. Just about. Alright, so we won. So, with that being done, I didn't think you would do so well against the mighty Onet police force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Yes, please. Hang on for a second. I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Right, beep, beep, click. Uh, click strong here. Do you read me? Okay, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, a kid named Lucas will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that, I know that. Don't ask me why, just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Right, so finally we've got the... Uh the privilege of visiting Tucson. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. Well, I hope so, because uh, I'm really struggling with this next bit. I've been trying to do this over and over. Trying to... Basically, I have to rescue Bird, a girl that I've not met, and um, she's been kidnapped in the next town, and I just can't do it. Um, there's like secrets of events that I need to do, but there's random battles as well that keep getting in my way. Uh, so, I've got a fair idea now of a little bit more of what things of what I need to do. So, well, I need to pop in here, I think. Right. Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. Will you take one of my sons? Yes. So, an exit mouse. I think this will help me exit a, a dungeon or something if I'm having problems. Which is perfect. So... I hope it's a permanent item. So if I'm not fighting, then it's just because I'm just a hamburger inside. Yes, we got a hamburger. Good. Oh god, I don't want to fight. I just want to move. See, even if I don't want to fight, I'm still being forced. You can't the random evil mushroom. I don't want to fight. I just want to get on with the game. So basically, like you just want to get on with the game. It does things like this, and I understand it's trying to be clever, and I get it. I really do. But sometimes it's just, I love this game, but I just want to get on with it. You know, like, the story's so good, but I feel like sometimes the random battles just kind of hold it back a little bit. I know how that sounds, but it's like, come on, just let me do it. I'm not interested in anything else. Just let me. Let me play the game, essentially. Right, this is Tucson now, which is good. I guess we've got to go to the hospital. Just get a good night's sleep here. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Yeah. Have a nice day. Maybe it'll cure me if I, if I go to a hotel. No, it won't. I've still got this stupid mushroom on my head. And it's like... Come on, man. Like... Can I not just get a break? Uh, I understand it wants to be quirky, but at the same time, it just kind of slows everything down. It's really weird. Right, where are we going? We need to go to a hospital. So I have to go all the way up there. And now the controls are reversed as well. That's another thing. It becomes really annoying. It's I, I get, again, it's trying to be clever, but it's just like, it's not, if I'm honest. So I have to press up and left now just to do my normal thing. Alright. Do down and left now. There we go, into the hospital. Oh. Well, I need to see this woman. I'm not busy right now, shall I explain about the hospital system? No. Alright, so she can't help me. What about this guy? Can this guy help me? Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Hey, now that I know this, could you sell me the mushroom growing on top of your head? Come on, let's make a deal. There we go. $50 for a mushroom. Um, yeah, what the hell. No, I don't. I'll be fine. So I've been cured now. He's got the mushroom off the top of my head. But it's just like things like that. 
you know, this is awesome. Absolutely, I love this game so much, but like sometimes it just things like that just slow down the pace of the game when you just want to get on with it, really. But well, this is a different type of RPG than I'm used to, so you know, I, I'm, I don't want to go too hard on it. It's uh, one of the best. Right, so um, I have to visit the store now. Do I need any more hamburgers or anything like that? Let me just have a look. I can always use like... In fact, I'll keep everything as it is for the time being. And we need to buy some stuff up here. Right, so this dude. Hello there, how may I help you? Um... We'll, we'll buy this thing shop. Yes. Yeah, so a more powerful weapon. Uh, no, he hasn't got anything else that I need. I don't know what this lady's got. Hi, can I help you? She's got a teddy bear, a cold remedy or a teddy bear. So the teddy bear is actually really useful, but we can get one for free. The teddy bear actually can, will soak up your hit points for you. So um, there's actually one in um, Bird's Place, Polestar, the little like nursery school. So we're going to get one for free in there. So yeah, I've got I'm doing all this with the benefit of hindsight because I've tried to do this before many times, so I kind of know what I'm doing. But anyway, uh, we have to give money to I think Apple Kid and Orange Kid. I don't know. If I've got to do it to them both. I just don't have enough money for Apple and Orange Kid. So um, I have to go to Bergland Park first. I have to fight some dude on a rooftop. But I need to buy a copper bracelet, so. Hey, man, you got to expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come and buy some of my junk. Right, so what would you like, man? A copper bracelet. Yes. There we are. So we got a decent defense now. Um, we're good. I think we'll be good. There's probably better items I need to be getting, if I'm honest. And I, I should really be using more shield magic and stuff, but... For some reason I don't, and that's on me, but... Oh, God, what? See, the game does things like this, which I think is really unfair. It won't let you attack. I keep saying I've narrowly missed my target all the time. Oh, just let me fight the guy, Jesus Christ. use a hamburger now just in case he does a massive attack oh, that doesn't seem to be doing much though see that's what I mean he does that There we are. So that's what I mean. The game does things like that. The problem with that is it's really dangerous. Uh, but it is worth it at the same time because you get the points, you get the experience. Yes, I know the boss of Bergman Park when I jumped off my roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Bird. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful rest valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her though. They say that they were going to make Bird some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you save Bird, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Right, I'll certainly remember that. So yeah, I'm not in really the best of positions now because they've just taken everything. So we've got to go back to the hotel, heal up, maybe get a few more hamburgers and then go visit Apple Kid. So I'm just doing this very carefully because I don't want to screw up because half the time I keep missing where the hotels are and I just keep forgetting about saving and things, but not this time trying to do everything the right way. I suppose I could get on a cycle and that will help me avoid things. Oh, here we go, the photograph guy. So yeah, the game is extremely quirky as well, so it does things like this all the time. 
Right. Fuzzy pickles. Right, whatever. I just want to get on with the game. But part of it's me because I'm so used to like other RPGs. You know what I mean? You know the form, random battles and just progression. But with this, it's really different and it's hard. It doesn't make it difficult sometimes. You know, to accept. It's just it's hard when you just want to get on with the game, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And that didn't come out right. What I'm trying to say is like it makes it difficult because it's so different for me, I think. Right, there we go. Right, so I need to buy... Oh, I can get $50 off this guy if I talk to him. What? So just keep talking to him and you'll get $50. Just keep doing it. But that's why this game is brilliant, you know. It's, it's so good, but... I think part of my problem is like I just want to get through this little um, fifty dollars. I just want to get through. I just want to get through this sequence and get bird, but it's I can barely scratch the surface, and I'm having so many problems with it. Right, let me just save the game here. So if anything goes wrong, we'll record our progress. Sudiro Dad's also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. Right. Okay, good. Right, the thing is, is that there's somebody called Orange Kid in the town as well. There's an Orange Kid and Apple Kid. And they're both inventors. And people say that Orange Kid is the best inventor, but we need to get an invention off Apple Kid. So we have to pay Apple Kid money, and then we need to like trigger a point there's a pencil that needs to be erased and we we haven't got the um, we haven't got the machine to do it but Apple Kid invents one for us but in order to do that we have to make sure to get a mouse who will give us a phone it's really bizarre how this works but this is Apple Kid so here we go well, I have sort of neglected doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? What can you give me? Uh, hamburger? Thanks. You seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, excuse me. Thank you. By the way, I could really use the $200. Yes. There you go, so he's going to invent something. Now we need to speak to this mouse. I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. So you have to take this, otherwise nothing will happen. And you wouldn't know to do this first time around. You need the receiver phone. So. Nuke is dug around the trash can. Well, let's see here. There is a broken machine inside. So we'll take the broken machine. Might come in useful. You never know. So, I don't have much in terms of food, so I need hamburgers. So let's go and stock up on hamburgers. Actually, we'll go here to the orphanage. So, it's really annoying that we have to do this, if I'm honest. So we just, I think this is one of the trigger points that we have to do. So, you want to see Bird. Many come here to see a miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So, are you from a TV station or what? No. To meet or not to meet can only be decided by Bird. Bird has said that she would only meet with a boy named Lucas. So, you're Lucas. You're the one that was in Bird's dream. You will save the world. Let me go call Bird. But here's the kicker. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry. Could you come back later? Well, we want to go upstairs because there's a teddy bear, as I said, that we can get. And this teddy bear is actually is like a, an extra team member. He just soaks up hit points. It's great. There's a teddy bear inside. Lucas takes it. So it's like having an extra bloke with you to take the damage. So I think what I'll try to do is get out of here. So, it's not necessary, I said, it is necessary to talk to as many people as you can, but here, it's fine, you don't really, don't really need to, so I've just got to find Bird, so I'm going to, I'm hoping that I won't have to kind of 
do anything else because I need to trigger a, a certain point here. I need to trigger a, a pencil which needs to be erased which I can't get past. Then I need to go back to the town to take the phone call. It's really weird how this all works but it is what it is. Right, nothing in that cave, good. We're probably going to get ambushed here. No, okay, fantastic. All right, well, that's the first time that's happened. I've always been ambushed by enemies, but for some reason, they're staying away from me. I like the sound of that. Right, okay, so let's check this bridge. Right, I think I want to check this cross bridge to Happy Happy Village. That's where she's been taken to, but we can't progress there. So, what we need to do is go up here and trigger this point here. Some weird reason that a pencil shaped iron statue is blocking the path, so it could be that I've not triggered the I've not done the right trigger yet, which is fine. So I probably have to make come back here a few times, but maybe not. The enemies are just like standing there doing nothing, blocking my way. It's like an enemy there. I'm just trying to get him off screen because the enemies just randomly appear on and off screen, so I'm trying to just trigger them so they leave me alone there we are it's bad that you've got to do this really but it's the only way to survive right so if I can just get back to town now that would be groovy so one thing I have found that sometimes works is if you enter and re-enter a cave sometimes the enemies disappear not all the time but sometimes I might be lucky trying to just I don't want to fight anyone you're probably thinking well it's a bit wimpy well yes it is but I just I, I really just want to get out of here because they they can do you a lot of damage all right fine uh, I'm gonna use PSI on it on them. You're probably thinking, well, it's a bit excessive, but not really, because you said they will wipe you out, believe it or not. They are way powerful. I'm trying to get rid of these things. I just wish. Ah, stealing my HP or my PP, whatever, just go away. My PP, I love it. Yeah, so I've got the bear anyway. The bear soaks up a load of hits. That's why I like it. It's a great idea, to be honest. You know, I feel like I've been a little bit unduly harsh on this game, but it's just, it's hard to wrap your head around. It gives you so much. It throws so much at you in a very different... Aha! Here we go. So I've done everything right. So, we get the phone call from Apple Kid. Hello, this is the Apple Kid. I've just finished work on this great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Slam, beep. Right, okay, so. There's enemies. I'm just trying to get rid of them. There we are. See, if you go off screen and on screen, sometimes you can just avoid them. So, there is always that. But you, you would not believe the amount of times that I've kind of been caught out. Or because I don't want to fight. You know, they push you into fighting enemies. So let's get Apple Kid's invention. And then we'll pop back to the hotel and we'll save the game again. So we're making some progress now, which is good. Are you looking for that so called genius Apple Kid? As a true genius, I'll tell you what he's in Bergman Park looking for you. Right, so I guess we're going to Bergman Park then. With my stuffed teddy bear. My only joy is a cuddly toy waiting for me when I get home. I'm going the wrong friggin' way. I have to be. Where's the park? Yeah, so I'm always doing this. I'm always going the wrong way. Is it on the next road? I don't think it's on this one. I think it's like over here somewhere. Right, this should do it. Right, so... Where is he though? I think he's like... Are you apple kid hiding from me it's really necessary all this clandestine stuff where are you he's not I can't find him that's not him is it 
I'm feeling really out of it because I've been working all night, but finally the pencil razor is ready. Ah, yes. This machine will eradicate all pencil shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Right, just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. Here it's yours now. There we are. Excellent. Right, we've got it. We've got the pencil erasure. So that will get rid of that uh, pencil. It's really weird, this game. Very bizarre. But, well, we've got that. So now we have to go back to the hotel. Uh, back to the store. Buy some stuff. And go back. So it's just crazy what you've got to do. I'm probably not doing this the right way. Oh, did I buy a copper bracelet? Yes, I did. It's fine. I'm very confused now. Do I have money? Two hundred and thirty-one. Yeah, we got cash. So I think hamburgers is the way to go. So let's do it. I and I always go with hamburgers because they're cheap and you know you can get more of them. Right? For some reason, it's telling me I've got too much. Right? So cold remedy. I want to drop that one. Maybe a mistake on my part, but exit mouse, town map, ATM card, hamburger, hamburger, broken machine, pencil, a teddy bear, receiver phone. Oh, this is ridiculous. I can only buy one more hamburger. Can't I get anything else? This is ridiculous. So they give you all this stuff and it's like great but like I'm pretty much can't afford to buy any health or any hamburgers now because my my stuff is used up, do you know what? I'm gonna use this phone. I know it's gonna cost me five dollars. But well there we go. Let's just save it here because as I said I'm not doing all this again. There we are, good, 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 good. Right. So it's taken me about nearly half an hour just to do this little sequence here. But the good thing is they've left, they've kind of left me alone and I've managed to dodge most of the enemies using the old teddy bear. And with the teddy bear, that's going to soak up another hit. And that should allow me to get to the city uh, without being uh, accosted too much, maybe. That's the plan anyway, but who knows. So it looks like I don't need to trigger the point with, with um, Bird's dad coming out. He's like, hey, I don't know where she is. We know where she is. I think what's good about this game is like, all right, you do have to trigger certain points, but if you generally know what you're doing, you know where everything is, sometimes you won't have to deal with them. I'm just trying to get this mushroom off the screen. So I won't have to bother with it. We'll just get this butterfly here. So yeah, I need this bear so badly, basically to soak up some hit points because it's going to get pretty rowdy I think on my way there's probably going to be loads of enemies in my way okay there's nothing in the cave sometimes the caves are empty sometimes not oh but look at this look at this the cave's empty they've left me alone they finally left me alone for a change I was having so many problems like with that cave. Right, we've got to watch out though. Again, we want we don't want the enemies to be on screen, so we're gonna spawn them off by going up and down. And it should oh there we go. It's never been this easy before. I think finally Lady Luck is just uh, smiling at me. Right, so here we go. For some weird reason the pencil shaped iron statue is blocking the path, so we have to use the pencil eraser. There we are, Lucas used the pencil razor. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. Fan dabby dozy, there you go. And we're finally, we've crossed the bridge, but we have to be careful because there's still enemies present as well. And there's also lots of goodies to get. Lots of UFOs. It's bad that you've got to do this just to survive, but it is what it is. 